Right guys, so I'm back here again today and this is the mausoleum that I found. The door was opened. I'm going to go and brave it guys and have just to see did they fix the door. Has anything been done since we were here? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back here again as promised in Drumcliff old burial ground and I've been here before two or three weeks ago I've done a video here and I've covered those vaults you see on the hillside so if you want to see that video I'll put a link in the description box below um, it's well worth a look so check that out but for today we're going to continue on to a different area and the last time I was here I didn't get to cover certain areas in the in the old graveyard there is a cholera plot up here i have covered the paupers one in the last video so we'll go and look at the cholera plot um there's more vaults up on the hillside there and an old church ruin as well so the weather has just started raining when i arrived here so hopefully the rain keeps away so this place is amazing here um, everywhere you look there's vaults and it's so big that I had to come back here to do this video the second part so it's all uphill from here So there's a vault, it's overgrown. See the iron rings on it. So this is the, the old church. So we'll go inside there first maybe and see what's in the room here. And come back out and explore some of those vaults. Wow, look at this place guys. And the old round towers there are what's left of it. And there's some information on that, so we will have a read of that. So there's people buried in here inside the church room. We have a chest tomb here. Another chest tomb underneath this window. And there is an inscription here. So we'll try and read this. Uh, the Reverend Dean Barrett tomb. He died February the 13th, 1808, aged 85 years old. Erected by his parishioners i think 1811 so it's the reverend dean barrett that's buried underneath that window of the old church room you see some graves on the ground So let's see what the story is with this um, this round tower here. For anybody that's interested in the round towers, and it says it's just that this monument is in the care of um, the Monuments Act. So they're looking after that. You can see their round tower. So I'm going down this way where Serenity Sioux is. Lovely little area here. Someone put a fence around it and kind of made their own little area there for, for burials, the brown fence. Look at that. Really neat. So here we have another 
mausoleum and there's an inscription on this here died in 1847 so Marcus died the 14th of September aged four years Emily died 26th of September aged five years children of Marcus and Eliza Talbot so I'm going to read that again and see September the 12th one of their children died age six and Marcus died September the 14th age four so four five and six year olds see what I noticed it's almost the wall is breaking out yeah, it's coming out if you can see from this way you can see how much the wall is protruding you feel like you could push it back it's coming back out our coffin's busting out of there. There's trees growing on top of the mausoleum. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, look. She's there. The cross. I don't know where that piece came out of. That's walk through. So this is the entrance to the vault. And it's blocked up. Well, there is um, some form of something there we can see inside oh we can look strong niches i think are there we hold the torch yeah maybe hold on. oh there we can see uh, there's niches there um there's a coffin over to your left underneath that niche it's hard to see isn't it we can yeah. see it there now look you can just kind of see the coffin there um i'll try and look in this side maybe right, this. oh there's a better view yeah oh look at the coffin there see those niches the one is empty the one next door there has a coffin um, oh yeah there look at that wow you can see it there it's hard to see with all the overgrowth with all the ivy and the ivy and stuff cool looking isn't it but we got a good look in there isn't it? It's cool, like you have growing out of it. This is a cross. Yeah, but where'd this come out of? And I don't know where that came out where of. Did it come from up here, maybe? But this is the cross in front of it. So this is covering and the ivy and stuff, and just all those little holes you but can see. Look at see. the years of ivy. It's all like nature taking over. We can see here. Look at that. It's cool. And that's around the other side. So we'll keep going and see what else we can see. We have a, like a Republican grave here, I think. Sean O'Hurrican, O'Hurrigan, Hurrican. 21st of April, 1949. Comrades, Celtic Cross, and some reeds there with the Irish tri colours in it. Another vault, Dooley. In memory of Pat Dooley, who died January the 19th, 1848, aged 22 years. Oh, very young. You can just hear all those crows in the background. And I'd say this place would be really creepy at night, wouldn't yeah. it? To do a walk around here. And who knows, we might come back here another time and maybe do a night walk in here. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. All the 
So all that over there is all the new cemetery. New burials over there. Right, so in this kind of um, hidden area here, or overgrown, we have another vault. Look at that. The old rings on them. Taken over again with all the ivy. It's falling apart, yeah. It's all under there, so it's falling apart. This place is huge, isn't it? You know, like this vault after vault. This is a burial area here. Two headstones in there. Wow, there's a door down there, guys. It's another vault. I think, look at that. A hidden vault. See, can I just pull back some of that stuff? So look at that. It's a hidden vault. And you wouldn't barely know it was there. So that's the door entrance, I think, or it could be the other side. We'll have to go around and see. It's completely covered with the the bush and the ivy, yeah. Well, you see, this side didn't even know this stuff was up here. That's the back of it. So that is the entrance. That was the entrance. Look how high that vault is. So underneath all that ivy we were looking at, that was the door entrance. Um, and the structure of it, look how high it is. There's more vaults here, look at this. Wow, this place is crazy. Look at that. Looks like another one here. Look yeah. at the roof on it. Yeah, it's another vault. I don't know what that is in there. It could be just a burial area like headstones. Mm -hmm. But it's overgrown. Which you can actually see from here as well. Where we were looking in. In there. Look at that. The door is just there. Now, I think this could be... The cholera plot here, maybe I'm mistaken. We'll have a look and see. Our, uh, yeah, the cholera plot. We found the pauper's one on the last video. So make sure to check out that. The link will be underneath this video. It's worth a look. Oh, don't fall into a crypt. There's another door. Really or I think it's a chest, chest tomb. I don't know. It could be uh, another vault. Chest tomb, I think. Gosh. Um, I'm going to go over and read this headstone over here. It's a nice looking headstone. And then we'll make our way. We'll make our way around over there to see what else we can find. While the rain is not here. Up here. So if we fall into a vault and you never hear from us again, there's no more videos. Right, this one is erected by James Hickey of Ennis in fond remembrance of his son James, who departed this life on the 21st of February. 1851 age seven years old how sad seven years old buried here in a beautiful headstone and this old graveyard is really beautiful the scenery we're up re way high here you can see a lot of flooding going on there in the fields um 
So let's go. Now this is a big burial area here. I don't know what that is. I don't see any headstones, only this one. Um, erected by Thomas Fitzgerald of Ennis in memory of his mother, Catherine. And she died in 1850. So maybe the Fitzgerald family are buried there. Oh no, this is actually the plot, it's isn't it? The cholera plot and the famine plot is there. Oh, so the famine plot is over there. Yeah. So this, what we're looking at here, guys, with the stone wall formation going around it, um, is the cholera plot. And sadly, all the people who died from cholera back then you know, were poor and couldn't afford any headstones and they're all buried in a mass grave as we can see here. Number six, the cholera plot. So it's very sad. But I'm glad we're here today to cover it. Um, and rest in peace to all the people who lost their lives through the cholera. So this is the famine plot. So there's three different plots here we found. We found the cholera plot, the famine plot, and down below in the lower area of the graveyard, we have found the pauper's plot. So a lot of tragedy in the old graveyard. And it looks like they've erected this in memory. The Great Famine, 1845 to 1850, in memory of the nameless 2,000 or more victims of famine and fever who are buried here in Drumcliff. And we can see a picture of a boy there. It's actually the, the mother and her dying child here, look. You can see the mother, yeah, with the scar. And her dying child. And her child is dying there. And actually the inscription. And it says the widow Connor and her dying child at Fahy's Key Ennis. How sad guys is that? Look at that. How they're depicting how the famine was and the tough times they had. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to everybody that's buried here from the famine and The wind is picking up strong here and there's a couple of more interesting ones as we go around. There's one here that's kind of falling apart as well, it's seen better days. The gate is still there. The wall is falling apart. So there is a lot of work to be done here, you know, like uh, some committee maybe or something will have to come in and try and build up the walls around here. So we'll go inside this gate. Um, oh, they actually have done a little bit of work here. You can see these trees are cut. So this was probably completely, completely overgrown. Um, this says, erected to the memory of Andrew Maloney of Ennis. Mary McMahon departed this life in 1853, aged 64 years old. So it's a huge headstone inside this area. And I always say, you know, in these videos, um, you know, the two sides of life, I call it. The rich and the poor. So you have down there some really elaborate looking mausoleums and vaults and you have the sad picture then of the famine, people buried in mass graves, the cholera. But at the end of the day we all go out the same way, we all end up the same way. And that's the way it is. I think people forget that when they build these big mausoleums and fancy tombs and stuff like that you can't bring it with you 
beautiful old tree here look at that around this grave the wrought iron railing on it I see can I read what's on this headstone um, Michael is the name on this Nicholas who died in infancy I think it says and unfortunately it's worn away the inscription on it but it is an infant's grave as we can see route iron around this old railing falling apart a nice design on this the cross on top here's some of the railing that fell fell off it right so we'll keep going um, I'm going to try and make my way down through through this area where Sue is I can hear her calling me so I'm going to check it out try and stoop underneath all this overgrowth so there is headstones in here look hidden away you can see some there there's more in there look this area is gorgeous it's so serene in here. Look at that tree. No, look at this one. This one, look at it. And there's a bottle. Someone left a bottle, yeah? It's an old bottle. Wow, look at that. Look at the branches of it. Like that tree has seen so much. That tree has seen so many burials. Oh my gosh. So many people who have come and gone here. Look at the old rail. And there's the bottle. Look at that, someone has left an old bottle there. I don't know if that's a whiskey bottle or something. I don't know what that is. Is it placed here on purpose? I think someone left it there, yeah, for, left for a, a family member maybe. And there's an old burial area here. And railing around it, look at it. You can just see the cross there on it. It's falling apart underneath the tree wow an old rock and a bottle on it look at that this be like, is beautiful isn't it so hidden another grave just lying over there on its side look at that Celtic cross there's someone buried there as well. Um, let's see, can I read this? Mary McGrath, who died the 7th of May, 1923. So it's not that old, I suppose, when you compare the rest of them. You know, the 1800s, 1885 and stuff. Bits of old railings there. So what a beautiful area guys um just want to show you there as well they have cut down a lot of overgrowth and trees there as well so they are looking after the place and maybe some of those graves you know that are falling down the stonework they need permission maybe to do stuff like that you know to to fix up the graves and So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Very interesting old graveyard. Another one here. Erected by Garrett Stack of Ennis in memory of his three sons who died in their infancy. John aged nine months. John Francis, age two years, and James, age three years and three months. Wow, another sad grave, guys. A father who lost three sons. Um, to lose children so young. And to anybody else who's watching the video here today as well, if you've lost children very young. 
my heart goes out to you you people it's not easy so um this a vault over here a mausoleum i don't know if i've covered this in the last video so i might be just going over it again but i don't think this was done the last time i was here you can see they've cut down all the overgrowth around it so you can actually see the wrought iron railings that's on it now and it's really beautiful look at that you can see where they've cut it so they are bringing these these monuments and graves here to light again um it's hard to read that one in there with the ivy on it but you can just see what they're trying to do it gives you an idea and in time maybe they will get around to doing all this old graveyard and it would be lovely for people i think to come in here school tours and and do tours here about history and stuff like that it would be very interesting very very interesting I'll go back up this way and see what's up here I think that's the other side of the I've probably read this one so that's what it looks like when you're up higher above on the ground that's the roof and what it looks like the back of it um, there's ones in here overgrown as well there's a new burial you can see it going in there soon somebody's going to be buried there So these are all overgrown as well. Ivy. You can see like a maybe it's a I don't know it's a headstone or oh it looks like um a piece is breaking off the side of the one, the vault. We have a double one here. Daniel McNamara, 1804. And another one just beside it. Actually, very nice to see them, the two together. Then we have ones here falling down, breaking apart. Another kind of chest tomb looking one here. here maybe. Looks like there's oh, something oh, here, yeah. yeah. Um oh, was this was erected by something O'Brien okay. AD twenty years old, is it? Yeah. So I don't know, it looks like this part was actually And what? And eight. What's that? Eight. Thousand something so it's probably thousand maybe eight, eight thousand and eight or something maybe that's the year but it's kind of it's definitely thousand it's a t it's a thousand yeah yeah eight i've never seen that before oh. thousand it says you can just see it there thousand eight Strange, isn't it? So that was the doorway there, do you know that? The entrance yeah. way, yeah. So that's where we started up there, the old church. So I don't know what's in here, I just found this. And, uh, there's an iron gate here, look. And you can actually go in. But it looks like it's just stone wall there. Uh. 
Will I go in? Yeah, go in. That's interesting. Yeah, go in, guys. I have to try and squeeze in. Oh, there's torrents here and everything. Yeah. No. No. It's just a wall. It's just a wall. Getting attacked by torrents. Oh, the things I do. So there's a gate is there. We have a grave outside here. And one there. You can see the entrance. Like, that's where you were, in this, that area with the wall. So it must be a vault. It's a vault, but I can't see how. Or where's the entrance to it? Maybe the entrance is where I was. Maybe. And it's blocked up. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's a, over the top of a dessert chest room. Or just there. There's something there like a structure, maybe it's a chest tomb design, yeah. Right, we're going down this hill area and hope we won't fall. You nearly fell here the last time. Yeah. So you don't um, think you're walking. See the strange um formations here of overgrowth and stuff you don't know what's under there you know that could be a vault it could be just a grave um we have this one here as well ivy's taken over a lot here you know strange stuff going on here like look at this that looks like an entrance yeah. to a vault Very like a really kind of you know old style one. There's a headstone there anyway, so I don't know, or some of these vaults, the cheaper kind of vaults that yeah. there wasn't as much money maybe put into these ones. You know, a couple of stones or whatever. And then you have this route iron overgrown here. A big chain, whatever that was from, I don't know. Look at that. So guys, today I think I'm going to go back over to where I was in the first video. Um, the vault over there where we found and the door was open on it. Um, so I'm going to go over there today just to double check to see actually did they lock it? Or did they start out the problem? Or what happened since we were here? So we'll bring you over there and have a look. So another thing just to point out as well. Uh, Sue mentioned there Which is actually good thinking because we were wondering as well well how they brought the coffin up those steep hills and Especially in winter time, you know if you had snow or ice there back in the 1800s How they brought the coffins up those hills for burial is beyond me So I'm going to walk across this way and give you a glimpse of where I was in the first video. So I've covered all those vaults that you see there. I won't be looking at them today again. Um, do check that link underneath the video to find out what I found in those vaults. So this one is falling apart here, caving in. Kelty cross on it. You can see the ground is breaking away there. Old, very old. I suppose that's what happens after time. So all those ones up in the hill there as well, I've covered those. There's a couple of new burials here as well. You can see them there, people look after the graves there very well. Flowers and wreaths and there's a couple of Christmas things there. Right guys, so I'm back here again today. And this is the mausoleum. 
that I found the door was opened and we looked inside in that one. So I don't know, will I check and see if it's still opened or did they fix? The I'm going to go and brave it guys and have just to see did they fix the door. Has anything been done since we were here? And no, no the door is still opened. But we're not looking in there today, no. today. If you want to see what's in there, click that link below in the description box and watch the video. So guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, covered whatever else we could see today. Some more interesting stuff at the top of the graveyard. Um, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, it's free. Give the video a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And comment underneath the video as well. Let me know if you're new to the channel, where you're from, what you thought of the video, um, the cholera plot, all those sad areas we found. So until the next time, on the next adventure, take care and I'll see you soon.